this is Elias from DPRMS. Welcome! Here at DPRMS, we are experts in data protection and the services we provide will allow you to control and manage access to your confidential information. To describe more in detail how our services will enhance your existing IT security, we have created a couple of demo videos for you. For this demo, we have configured our SharePoint site to protect sensitive information from leaking out. SharePoint is perhaps one of the most common collaboration tools used in organizations today. It's used wires from intranet, extranet to secure document management and much more. So if you have a site containing sensitive documents and you want to prevent those documents from being forwarded elsewhere, how do you do that? In this demonstration, we will simulate a scenario with three individuals working on a SharePoint site, all of them with different levels of access to the site. The objective of this demo is to show you how you can take advantage of some of the built-in DLP functions in SharePoint to prevent information leaking out through your system. For this demo environment, we have only one company, Nuvage, and we have three users. At first, Wade Black in Nuvage will upload two different documents containing sensitive information to a SharePoint site. One Word document and one PDF document. The documents that are being uploaded are in an unprotected state. Afterward, Dana Moran, which has contribution rights to the site, will download these documents. Later on, Oscar Nelson with Read Only Rights will download the documents as well. We will at each of these scenarios see how the documents will be protected with IRM as they leave the SharePoint site. Also, a quick overview of the technologies we are using for this demo. For client experience, Windows 7, Office 2013 Pro Plus and Foxit PDF Reader. For SharePoint Service, SharePoint Online and for IRM, Azure Rights Management Services. So let's get started. Wade Black in Nuvage has one PDF document and one Word document which he wants to upload to a SharePoint site. In this scenario, these documents are classified as confidential and the SharePoint site is configured to protect any file leaving the site with an IRM protection. So he simply connects to the SharePoint site and selects to upload the document. We can now see that both of the documents are uploaded to the site. In our next slide, Dana Morant, which has contribution access rights to the site, will download the documents that were just uploaded by Wade Black. When opening the Word document, we can see a warning symbol informing Dana that this document is protected with an IRM policy. She goes ahead and downloads the document. When she opens the downloaded document, we can now see that the warning sign is replaced with an information sign informing Dana that the document is protected. When looking at the permissions, we can see that Dana Moran have view, edit, copy and save rights. Dana Moran will download the PDF document as well. We can see that the same permissions have applied to the PDF document as well. In this slide, we will see Oscar Nelson, which has view only rights to decide, download the same documents. As we can see, his permissions looks a little bit different from Dana Moran because he does not belong to the same group. His permissions is set to view only. We can see that the same permissions have applied to the PDF document as well. Take note that the documents in the SharePoint site are in an unprotected state, meaning 
that they are only protected once the document leaves the site. Also take note that Dana Moran and Oscar Nelson have different access rights, meaning you have the ability to apply granular access control. So this was a quick demonstration on how you can prevent sensitive documents leaking out from your SharePoint site. Take note that no third-party applications were used during this demo. Thanks to the DLP functions in SharePoint, you can easily collaborate with others knowing that the documents that are stored on the site will be protected as fast as they are being downloaded. This is an amazing feature to enable if you have temporary staff or contractors that could intentionally or unintentionally leak out the information. So thank you very much for joining us on this demo. It is a great pleasure to have you with us. Here at DPRMS, we provide data protection services that allow you to manage access and control your information. We help you to keep your information secure so that you can stay compliant and focus on your strategic goals with greater confidence. You can take benefit from these security features already today. So make sure you contact us right now to protect yourself from the next possible data breach. And also do not miss out on our next demo. Sending an email to a recipient who should not receive it is something that can happen to anyone. Mistakes are simply a part of our human nature. Do not miss out how you can use DLP features in Microsoft Exchange to prevent sensitive information leaking out through email.